Hey, YouTube world. It's Kurt Fisher. Thanks for stopping by. Oh. Uh, a little different video tonight, but. Oh. Uh, I'm going to hold this up here. That's a dollar. I remember growing up. Late 50s, 60s. I could take that dollar. And I could watch a movie on Saturday afternoon, buy a popcorn and coke, and still had a quarter left over. Gold it was thirty-five dollars an ounce back in those days. So it only took thirty-five days to get you a ounce of gold. Then as I grow up and did this, did that, start figuring things out, I remember latter part of high school and college, it took 75 of these things to get an ounce of gold. And then, remember getting out of college, I won't necessarily say graduated, but getting out of college and getting out there in the work world and making a little money. I remember took 285 of these things, that's a pretty good old stack, to get an ounce of gold. And his life went on, got married, and had kids, and, you know, stayed at 787 for a long time. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, this thing, that happened. That thing, and this happened. The world changed. And today, uh, April 5 and uh, when I checked it, it took 2032 of these things to uh, get an ounce of gold now what does that all really mean well, <clears throat> you need more of these to have the same purchasing power you had when you only had 35 of these. So, you got to work harder or smarter to get more of these. Is that a good thing? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, weird, ain't we think about it? <clears throat> there she is. Well, <clears throat> now I just gonna tell you, I don't own no gold. I invest in them things and in land and. Uh, there's something about gold that just, I know if the SHTF hits the fan, whatever they call that, everybody's going to be running around trading in gold. No, they're not. <laughs> <clears throat> they won't have days. Now, are they going to wipe their, no. What we got to do Make that strong again. That's what we gotta do. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanna take away that. It's 
called CBDC, maybe. I don't know, and this is an opinion. You two, where you go? The AI robot goes nuts on me. I'd rather talk to a person than an AI robot. Yeah, Y'all call lately and talk to the AI robot? It's all gone. Anyway, back on subject. <clears throat> that right there. Hmm. What you gonna do? When you ain't got there. Well, I don't know. Uh, old Spud's over here snoring. Hang on. I think I got him calmed down. Anyhow, you know what we're going to do about this? Well, uh, there's people out there that are trying to do away with this. And that's the last thing you want. Because he goes to digital currency and a card. Nobody takes this. They just they scan the card. They can cut you off. They can limit certain purchases. Two boxes of ammo a month. Six carrots a week. There's a shortage of carrots. Only two dozen eggs a month. That's crazy. No. Uh -uh. We need to keep this bad boy around right here. Whatever we got to do to keep this around, we need to do it. Do it now. Yep. This is the old school, the old way. And I know we all use debit cards. We all pay our bills online, we all do that. And that's almost 80% where they want us to be. They just want to push us over at the edge where we can't afford to print this stuff. It costs more to print it than it's worth. Boy, they've been printing a lot lately. Well, I figured it. But anyhow, <clears throat> now we got to stand strong, stand behind the dollar. Whatever we got to do. Whatever we gotta do, this is still legal tender. And I think in the Constitution, it says a little something about that, but you know, there's a generation that was raised that the Constitution didn't mean anything to them. And that's the sad fact. Uh, Two laws in this world. It's God's law. And then there's the Constitution. The Constitution is based on God's law. That's why all these devils want to do away with this. This ain't a bad thing. No, it ain't bad at all. You can trade among friends, whatever. Yeah. If that digital card thing comes in, yeah, let me see you go down to Bubba's house out there on the lake. He got a, a, an AR he wants to sell. Put that on the card. You ain't got no other way of paying for it. You do if it's still around. And worth something. Merle Hager once said, uh, one of the songs that went uh, back when the dollar was strong. Yeah. Yeah, it did. All right, I'm going to suck on this cigarette and I'm going to end this video by playing something. Because people want me to play something. So if you stay in for the story, you can scoot. Stay in for the music. Thanks. And uh, shh. Best, uh, best kept secret on YouTube. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Right, and pull up this thing one time when we hit it. Yeah, buddy. I thank the Native Americans for giving me that habit. <laughs> i